Welcome to the Solid Game University channel. This video's topic is sectioning a surface. So uh, there's actually a function inside of SolidWorks called split line, which is the majority of what you're going to see in this video. But how we would use it is um, you're basically going to section off surfaces to better machine them. So we'll start with an example on this part right here. So if I were to place a HSS operation on this feature right here, it's actually going to dip down here, and we'll see a toolpath that kind of kind of goes in a direction that might not be exactly what we want. So let's see. Let's choose these surfaces over here, like so. And if we just generate a parallel cuts constant Z, we'll see that there's a lot of jumping around simply because in a constant Z, this thing has to go down here, and that's no longer in a constant Z plane. Whereas on top, it's a nice smooth transition. It can go in one way. Now, if we wanted to better machine this surface, we might want to section it so that it stops at that line and it can do a nice little spiral there. And then maybe the remainder of this surface could be blended in with this corner fillet. That's essentially what we're going to do here. We're going to section that surface off so we have a top half and a bottom half. And we're going to do that using split line. So inside this SolidWorks file, I'm going to click on the feature manager. Inside the solid cam file, you'll have always the ability to go back to your feature manager inside SolidWorks to make changes like the one we're about to do. So I'm going to right click on design model, click on edit part. So that brings me back inside of this part and I can make changes. One of the changes I'll do is um, I'm going to add a curve that represents exactly where along the surface I'd like to section it. And that is most likely going to be in the same plane as that face. So first I need a curve. So I'll go sketch, sketch, choose this face right here, because I know this face is exactly where I want my nice constant Z to end. And I'll go to convert entities, click on this little arrow to get intersection curve. And essentially what that is, is it's looking for surfaces that intersect with that sketch plane. In this case, it's these guys right here. Everything else on that part is going to be in my nice constant Z range. But these two, or sorry, these three, um, go past that edge. And that's kind of where I want that section to occur. So as soon as I click the green check mark, I create a sketch that is planar with my um, with my sketch plane and cross sections that, uh, that surface there. So I'm going to use that as kind of like a trimming tool. So let's exit out of that sketch. We'll go to your surfaces tab in your SOLIDWORKS. Now, if you don't see your surfaces, just click on any one of these tabs and find surfaces in the list. These are all the add-ons, all the functions you have inside SOLIDWORKS. If you don't have surfaces engaged, just check the box next to it. So we'll go to surfaces, we'll come over here to curves, and we'll do a split line. So split line, it automatically recognized that I had that sketch uh, highlighted, so that's why. But if not, you would just have to go and choose it from your feature tree. Essentially just this guy around, down here. Now, next, it's asking for which surfaces to trim. So again, that's these guys right here. These three surfaces intersect with that curve. If I click the green check mark, it doesn't look like anything was actually done. We just see the sketch on screen. But if we go over, now you'll see some edges on those surfaces. And we have a top edge, or a top surface, and a bottom surface. Likewise, with these solids here, same sort of thing. So now those are two separate surfaces. I'll exit the component. Go back to solid cam. We'll open this guy back up. And now let's reselect the surfaces we want to use for this constant Z machining. You see now I can choose just those guys there. We'll just get this last guy right here. Click on the green check mark. Save and calculate. And now we have a toolpath that is smooth. Continuous smooth toolpath all the way around. And now this guy down here and these little slivers over here, we can make part of whatever um, morph between boundary curves or any other type of toolpath on the bottom edge here. So we get a nice blending on there. So that's how you could section a surface to better machine certain features of your part. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via ticket system at solidcamsupport.com or stay tuned for the rest of the videos in the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.